So you know exactly how to use twin motion and you've been using it for a while now, but you're struggling to color grade it and make it look professional. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can color grade all of your twin motion exports with one click Premiere Pro LUTs. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and I'm a practicing architect in Australia. If you're new here, firstly, thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're talking about Premiere Pro LUTs and how you can take your twin motion exports and make them so much better. Just a couple of days ago, we made a video about Lightroom presets for twin motion photo exports. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out down below as well. Nonetheless, today we are talking about how you can take your video twin motion exports and take them to the next level. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can install these LUTs and apply them to any project. Now, just like last time, I'm also gonna be giving away five of these LUT packs. So you can be anywhere in the world to win these. All you have to do is one, subscribe to this channel, two, follow me on Instagram, and three, leave your Instagram handle in the comments below. Let's get started today by installing these LUTs directly into Premiere Pro. So there are a number of ways that you can install these presets into Premiere Pro. You can do the permanent installation, which I'm gonna show you now, or you can do the temporary installation, it's completely up to you. If you download the presets pack with the link down below, it comes with some installation instructions so you can follow it step by step. Any problems, just let me know. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install them permanently on a Windows machine. The steps are very similar for a Mac, it's basically just copy and paste. Okay, so all you need to do is open up your local disk drive on your PC, go to this PC, open up the C drive. And then you wanna to move to program files and locate Adobe. So Adobe is usually at the top because it starts with A and then you wanna locate the common file. Under common, if there is no LUTs folder already installed, what you wanna just do is right click, new folder, and it's gonna just say LUTs. You wanna copy that letter for letter, case for case. So all uppercase LUT and lowercase S. And then you wanna go inside that folder again and create two more files. You wanna create one file called creative and one more file called technical downloaded file with all the LUTs in it go into the creative file and highlight all of these again right click copy and paste and there you have it, that's installed perfectly onto Premiere Pro. So if we open up Premiere Pro now, all those LUTs should be there. What we wanna do is open up the Premiere Pro file, locate the luminentry color on the right hand side. If you don't see that, you can always go to window up the top and check mark luminentry color. So because it is open for us and because we've permanently installed it, it would usually be under import LUTs if you're doing it temporarily. However, because it's a permanent install, we wanna go down to creative and then under look, we will find all our brand new installed LUTs. So if we flick through these quickly, you will see how much of a change it makes to this individual photo. So Autumn External automatically makes a huge difference. But because this is an internal shot, we don't wanna be using Autumn External, we wanna be using Autumn Internal. So you can see now that all the colors are green and orange and not really looking correct. So if we come down and change that to Autumn Internal, you will once again see how much of a difference that makes. All of a sudden, that photo there and that video there looks like autumn. It, is, it has those natural yellow rays coming in. It's nice, white, bright, and clear. And if we play that video through, you can see it's perfectly color graded throughout. Now let's say, for example, we didn't like that autumn look. We wanted it to be a little more dark and moody and mysterious. If we came back across to that color creative section under look and locate winter internal, because it again, it is a winter internal shot that we're looking for, it'll recolor grade that to this beautiful, dark, moody ambience vibe that looks incredible. So if we play that through again, you'll notice that those exterior colors are color graded correctly. The interior colors are perfect and that this color grade has been specifically made for twin motion exports. Now, what happens if your color grade goes from indoors to outdoors? Well, all we have to do is find where that outdoor transition is, cut our project at the bottom, select the secondary video, and instead of going to winter internal, 
changing that to winter external. Now we see that the external has been color graded a little bit differently, making it darker and moodier again with the lights shining through that pool so it makes it look light and vibrant. Overall, there is eight presets in this pack that you can utilize. We have two for every season, one for indoors and one for outdoors. So if you need a more summer look, a more fresh look, you can always use the summer internal or the spring internal. And then you have the more moodier and color graded ones like autumn for those orange colors or the winter for the darker moodier tones. And that's all for me today, guys. Very quick LUT video to showcase how quickly and how easily you can improve your twin motion video exports. If you need anything further from me, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help. I will try to reply to absolutely everybody. The link is down in the description if you wanna grab one of these presets for yourself. Otherwise, the competition will run for 30 days from the post of this video. I will announce the winners on my Instagram story, so make sure you are following me on Instagram and leave your Instagram down below so I can actually select a winner. Because this video forms one of my 28 videos in 28 days for February of 2021, it would usually be I'll see you next Monday. However, because we are still in February, I will see you tomorrow.